Greetings, everyone. Uh, this is Chad Jumet, your district webmaster. This is my contact information. You can contact me at either of these channels, uh, my email, my extension. Uh, I always want to be able to help you out with Thrillshare. If you have any problems or any questions, you need any customization, I can help you out with that. So uh, please give me a call. Uh, today we're going to talk about some changes in Thrillshare and how to use them. So this video will be instructional and also kept around for a reference. So we'll take a look here. Okay, this is Thrillshare. This is what it's going to look like when you log in. Uh, fairly standard. I think just a note, you may not see everything that I see. So yours might look a little bit different. And I just want to draw your attention to the channels to communicate with Aptigy. Uh, they are always uh, ready to support you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask them. As you can see, I talk to them all the time. I find the best way is through this um, message icon in the web app and just send them a message. They'll get back to you in, in minutes. They are uh, really good about that. So the most what we're concerned about today is what changes have been made in the CMS. The CMS is a content management system. For anyone who doesn't know. All right, so we are going to look at today, we're going to do some edits to the Springdale Spotlight page. And uh, under the CMS, this is your list of pages. So I'm going to just look for Spotlight. All right, and there it is. All right. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is uh, how it's different. We're going to have this activity log on the left. I'll explain more of that in a minute. Um, this is the page as it is live. So it shows you a live preview of what it looks like currently. We also have the share option, copy, which is the same, and edit. Um, so it, there's one extra step. It shows you your page, and then you have to click edit on the page. There's also this page info. Um, you have status, which is, you know, it's published. Metadata is for adding search terms for search engine optimization. And then this is a new thing, require password. If you, for some reason, you want something on Thrillshare, uh, but you don't necessarily want the public to be able to see it, say you have information for parents, but you don't want it public, you can use this require password. Uh, we're not recommending it right now. It's not very secure. It was a function, a feature built for some other states that Aptigy has schools in. Uh, there were some state laws that they have to abide by. So you can use it if you like, but just remember to write down that password and don't forget it. All right, we'll come back to the activity log, but we're gonna take a look and we're gonna edit. All right, so everything is pretty much the same here. Uh, we have our layout options. Uh, then we have our content options, which are all the same. So we have here, we have our image, we have our headline, we have our custom code, we have our image, our button. So we have all these things, everything pretty much the same. So I'm going to make a change here and get rid of the Springdale family hashtag. And then the review changes button lights up. So we are able to see review those changes. Now the other thing that you're going to see is this becomes my draft. This automatically saves your draft. Uh, there's no, no longer do you have to uh, manually save or publish to keep your changes. Um, you know, I can navigate away from the page uh, and then I can come back to it and go back to the pages and it's going to give you some uh, options here and you'll see. So here we have, it shows the main version. This is what's live right now. And then it gives us uh, the My Draft option. So you can go to My Draft and then you can continue to edit it. Makes things convenient. You can make changes to your page a little bit at a time. And then when it's all in its perfect, perfect glory, you can publish it to the world. So we've made that change. We got rid of that hashtag. So we're gonna review changes. And it gives us a nice side-by-side -side view of what, what has been changed. We have 
got we got the hashtag over here in the main version which is live right now and then we were able to remove it over here in the draft all right so I can either confirm the changes or I'm gonna edit looks like I'm gonna just remove a exclamation point we're gonna review changes again and I like what I'm seeing now one thing to note this confirm changes acts as the publish button in the old version when you clicked publish your page would go live when you click confirm changes your page will go live so if we click this it is now live this is what it looks like live and if we go to the actual live page and then we refresh you can see the changes so just a note that when you confirm those changes it's going to publish your draft all right so the activity log it gives you a log of who and when made changes to this page so if you're collaborating with another teacher a student maybe teacher's assistant you'll be able to see when they made changes uh, and who made the changes so let's say I just want to go back let's, let's take a look at my old version and it's going to give you that side-by-side -side view the main version is what's published right now takes a second sometimes the previous version is what I wanted what I had before I had the hashtag and the extra <clears throat> boy they don't want to show the main version okay it usually shows the main version let me give it a refresh here Let's see what happens there we go okay so when I want to restore previous versions I've got a couple of options I can either make it another draft and I can continue making changes and then publish it later but I can do that as a main version and just to note that this if you click as main version it will publish the changes to to the live site so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and it overtakes the old version I'm gonna go back to the live site I'm gonna refresh and there we go got our got our old version back all right the last thing I want to show you is the share option there are some changes there uh, restricted you can make different changes on the pages um, you can make it accessible which means anyone who has access to thrill share can make change make changes on the or edit this page um, most things are restricted um, you know as if you're a webmaster I would just keep things restricted because what you can do is you can invite people to collaborate with you so let's say I want to invite Trent Jones director of communication and there's a couple of options when you want to add someone and allow them to edit the page so you've got an editor which is they can edit anything they can make any changes that they like and they can publish them the owner can do everything uh, a moderated editor is uh, a user that can make changes but then you will approve those changes so if you're collaborating with a student or a teacher or someone else and you want to make sure everything looks right uh, you'll want to set them like this but we're going to remove Trent Jones because this isn't something he's going to work on so we have the share that was the share uh, everything else pretty much the same with Springdale Spotlight or I'm sorry with uh, Thrillshare Springdale Spotlight page is back to its old self all right thanks everyone for watching again uh, this is Chad Jumet your district webmaster uh, please email me or call me if you need anything I'm always willing to help you out and uh, help you make your website look great have a good day